Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part six of our series of session on Tally Prime release three highlights. We are covering GST highlights. In this session, we will explore yet another option under F-level configuration at the company level, where in this session, we will understand how we can set up ineligible input credit configuration for those companies who are not eligible to claim input tax credit for all their input. The example of the organization ideally would be a restaurant where they are not able to claim their input tax credit. So let us go to Tally and explore the option of configuring this feature. I have created a company to demonstrate that how ITC is not eligible for availment of the company. Option we will be learning today is eligibility for input tax credit under F11 feature. So let us view this. I'm going to press F11, enable GST for the company. It is yes, we enter here. And now this is a company who does not have eligibility for claiming any input tax credit in their business operation. So the company is created here with the GST information that is provided here. Save this. We go to set alter company GST rate and other details. We make this as yes, enter. And I have already specified here. This is a company which is a restaurant. So the HSN details have been specified here and the rate of GST for the restaurant is 5%. That is also specified here. But now the point is we have to see how to enable the eligibility of input tax credit for this company. The use case we are taking here is the restaurant. GST rate for restaurants are two prong. GST at the rate of 5% where the restaurants will charge GST on their invoice at the rate of 5% but they are not eligible to claim ITC on all their inputs. Secondly, restaurants falling under certain category will levy GST at the rate of 18% and they are eligible to claim ITC on all their input. Observe the table here for us to quickly understand the criteria of GST for different types of restaurant. The first we see here is a standalone restaurant including takeaway, outdoor catering or food delivery services. So these category of restaurants, the rate of GST will be 5% without ITC. The second category of restaurants are restaurants functioning within the hotel where the room tariff is less than 7500 in that case again the gst rate is going to be 5% without itc the third category of restaurants are functioning within the hotel where the room tariff is more than 7500 in such case the rate of gst is 18% and since they are going to charge 18% gst they are eligible to claim ITC for all their input. For us to understand the effective use of this option, let us take the case of a standalone restaurant where they are not eligible to claim input tax credit on all their input. That is what I have configured here. Now for us to set up the GST for this company, they have to set the option of eligibility for input tax credit to no. So how do we do that? You're going to now press F12 configure and under this configure, we have the next configure which we are going to learn today is the eligibility for input tax credit. We want to enable this option, press yes and press enter and save this configuration by pressing control A. We will now notice here eligible for input tax credit option has come and we are going to set this as no since the company is not eligible to claim input tax credit on any of their input. What is the impact of this configuration? But doing so, while creating all their purchase or expenses ledger for which GST is applicable, by default tally will infer the configuration from the company and even though they record their purchases or expenses with the rate of GST or the tax separately in their books of account, it will not allow them to claim the input tax credit which means it will show in the GST return as input available is X amount and at the same time it will be 
reversed saying that it is ineligible credit that is what is the requirement from the gst compliance let us save the screen by pressing ctrl a and again ctrl a let us now create a ledger for purchases which i have already created let's see that the ledger purchases has been created it is under purchase account gst is going to be applicable and you will notice here that automatically it is inferred from the company's configuration the hsn detail and also as per the company whatever we have set up at the company level the tax is also captured here we save this and now let us make a purchase entry to see the impact of this configuration we are now accounting the purchase by the restaurant where the rate of gst on their purchase is five percent that is what we had configured at the ledger level supplier invoice number enter supplier local the ledger we are going to select is purchase enter and the amount of purchase is say 50000 enter so we are going to account cgst at the rate of two and a half percent sgst which will automatically tally calculate based on the configuration enter and accept let us see the impact of this transaction in the gst return notice here input tax credit available is 1250 of cgst and sgst since we have set up the option that input tax credit is not eligible tally is automatically reverse the input tax credit of the same amount and now the company even though there is this input tax of 1250 each they are not eligible to claim so they have reversed and this is what needs to be reported let us take another use case where the restaurant is incurring expenditure on certain repair of their equipment even in that case they are not eligible to claim input tax credit so how are we going to handle that i have created a ledger called repair and maintenance which is part of indirect expenses one more configuration that we have to enable to check whether the input tax credit is not eligible for these expenses also so how do we ensure that press f12 configure and if you notice here you have this option here again eligible for input tax credit so we want to enable this field press yes here and press ctrl a and here you will now see this option here eligible for input tax credit it is saying yes but whereas since the company does not have any eligibility to, to claim input tax credit we are going to set this as no and the effective date is going to be from 1st of april 23 press ctrl a accept and then let us now pass a transaction and see reference number enter we are going to select a repair and maintenance say 10,000 is repair and maintenance we are going to debit cgst since it is reflecting in the invoice the amount is 900 again debit sgst again 900 credit we are accounting this in journal since it is an expenditure but if you use a purchase entry tally will automatically calculate the rate of cgst and is gst since we are doing this in the form of a voucher we have to manually capture the tax amount and we are seeing this tax on the supplier invoice number so the supplier is going to be again supplier local we are going to say it is new reference end of list and we have to specify the gst detail select yes here and the supplier local is captured the state is karnataka and place of supply is in karnataka so we are going to save this and let us save this voucher and now let's go to the gst report and see the impact of this transaction notice here the input tax credit available is for the two all other input tax credit when you press enter here the first purchase that we had entered which is 1250 each and the second entry that we have passed journal which is 900 each the total cgst is 2150 and sgst is 2150 when we escape and come down here you will notice that input tax credit reversed is the entire amount of 2150 and 2150. I hope with this simple configuration at the company level, you would have understood that how easy it is to be GST compliance as per the GST requirement. In the next session, we will cover the ineligibility of ITC for a regular dealer on certain inputs which could be a negative list or it could be some other use case which we will see in the next video thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much